Bahia has so many adventures, from the top of a mountain to the bottom of a cave. A healthy mix of activity can be had on United States Tour Operators Association member tours. We had experienced three days of adventure in the Chapada Diamantina National Park, which was famous for its namesake, Diamonds. Here the sleepy village of Lensois served as our jumping off point, and we spent each day seeing new natural wonders of the area. I am Itama. I'm a tour guide here in Chapada Diamantina. Uh, I like to take people around my city because um, I really like what I do, you know, I like to, to show people what we have in the area uh, to help them explore in the, the nature. We had two great hikes. One was along a river down to Poso de Diabo, a natural pool fed by a giant waterfall. Nothing about this area felt touristy to me. It was so natural and just ruggedly beautiful. Our next hike was much steeper, 45 minutes up Pai Inacio, or Table Mountain and our guide made sure that we timed it just right so that we arrived at sunset. And it surely was quite the payoff on top. The flat top was windswept with an unusual terrain, rocks, and resilient trees. But that view though, I felt like I could see a million miles away, and I was the queen of Brazil. To contrast, we also explored many miles below the Earth's surface. We descended into two caves, Poço Encantado and Poço Azul. Poso Encantado required protective gear as we made our way down into complete darkness. Once we reached the bottom, everything though was illuminated with blue. This is the biggest cave I've ever been in. We just climbed down here and I didn't know what to expect. We've been driving and I've been hearing so much about this beautiful underground grotto. And here we are and behind me it's like something I can't even describe. The view of the grotto is like an optical illusion. There's a reflection of the cave up atop and it almost looks like there's no water there, but there is. And it's so, so clear because it's so clean. It's fed from an underground spring and you can only see it for a couple hours each day because that's just when the light comes in this little crack and it illuminates it all this beautiful blue. I could sit here for a long time. The pool certainly was lovely, but getting to and from was definitely part of the fun. And now we ventured over to Poso Azul, by car, by boat, and by foot. This pool is smaller, but equally stunning, and cooling off in the clearest freshwater I've ever seen was just a wonderful reward. And this is actually one of the most famous archeological sites in all of Brazil, because they found fossils here of mammoths and saber-toothed tigers. And not only that, you can swim in the pool too, Pachina felt like a summer camp with so many fun nature experience offered. You could spend a whole day here just having fun outside. É especial com essa diversidade que tem de a Chapada Diamantina, com grutas, caverna, com grutas, morros, águas cristalinas, águas escuras e com esse platô, eu diria ímpar no mundo. You can zip line off a cliff or admire a beautiful blue pool, or even snorkel inside a cave. You enter right behind me where the water's really clear and really warm, and then you go around the corner and there's no light at all. So you're snorkeling in complete darkness. Quem não conhece a Chapada de Amantina, venha conhecer, ainda corre um risco de se apaixonar por essa beleza natural. And just a short walk from our hotel, we could take in the beautiful rock pools that flowed down the mountain just next to Lensois. What I most like in my profession is uh, being in close contact with uh, different people from different areas, uh, learn about their culture, uh, teach them a little bit about my, my place, and help them discover the area. It's the most important thing, I think.